All right. So we. This is. You said your your doctor nail nipper screen name is Emily. Emily. This yes. is this is Emily. She's been on before. But today what we're doing is we're going to be continuing treatment of the warts that are right in here. And there's a difference, I'll show you when I trim everything down, between regular callus like that and the wart that's up in here. So the first thing we're going to do is just get all of, all of this dead stuff off. And we had put acid on this a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. Okay, and that's why you see a little bit of bleeding into the bottom of it. It's nice to be able to watch it. Yeah, from, <laughs> oh, from where you're sitting, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you never get to see what I'm doing down here. No, I don't. That's exciting. Alright, so you let me know if I pull your foot out of frame. I can still see everything okay. on the picture that you're making. Yeah. So, Emily, have you been staying home during this uh, you know, quarantine? I haven't changed my habits that much. I, I go shopping, you know, at two or three stores once a week, and uh, I continue that. I, I was hoping to see my chiropractor, but he got exposed on Saturday to the coronavirus, so he's self-quarantining. Oh. So I had to go and see my physical therapy assistant, whom I usually see just before I see him. I had to go see her early because they cut back the hours there. Mm -hmm. So that, um, you know, the whole staff is taking it a little bit more seriously, I think, because of Dr. having been exposed. But was there a patient who came in that he saw who later tested no, positive? No, it or? was on Saturday night. It was a social occasion. Well, as so much as I know, it was a social occasion. So they heard. Maybe, maybe you know something I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. So, I mean, he'll, he hopes to know by Wednesday or so whether he's negative or positive. Hopefully he's negative. He has a good, strong immune system, I think. <laughs> I hope he does, anyhow. So, but it's, it's a dramatic effect on all of us. Mm -hmm. Have you done things a lot? I know your hours are, you've changed your hours. Well, we have um, canceled any non-urgent patients, and the reason I'm seeing you is because if we don't stay on this, it's going to start to grow again. Yes. I'm and, so glad. Yeah. And, um, so, all right, and this other one up here. But yes, we have canceled all non-urgent patients until April 1st, and we'll see beyond that, not sure. Um, but that would include anybody with an infection, anybody who thinks they broke something, post-op patients, yep. um, severe pain patients. I was struggling as to whether to call you or see my GP because of the my the swelling in my right leg uh, related to I think I confessed to you that I was walking in stocking feet <laughs> a little bit more and um, I had not done the strengthening of my metatarsal that was necessary getting that one on this toe too yeah this one I just wanted to go it's so little yes So glad you're seeing me because we're so we're, you know we're making progress. Yeah, we're getting really close to getting this going. So let me just um, do a little teaching here for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna learn too. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm gonna try and telephoto in here a little bit. So one of the ways that you can tell whether it's wart or callus is in this area, first of all, you can see the skin lines going through, like fingerprint lines. And in some of here, you can see that too. But in the other parts of this area here, where you see all the little teeny vessels bleeding, 
and there's an there's no fingerprint lines running through here and you can sort of see where it's formed a little shell around itself here that all is the wart okay so the ways that we can tell are number one that it forms a little capsule or shell around itself number two when we trim it you have all these teeny little vessels these teeny little capillaries that bleed and number three is when you push on it this way it's not painful but if you squeeze it like that it definitely Ooh, yeah yeah definitely Ooh. feels different so those are the three ways that generally we can tell if it's wart or regular callus and so there's a couple plain old calluses here that I'm going to trim with a different blade so we don't spread it um, and then we'll put the acid back on these areas good okay so let's I'm going to put a new blade on and I just want to trim a couple of these calluses and then we'll put the, the acid patch back on. Okay. So right there, this one, if you, if you wet it down, you can see that that is nice and clear. There's no, there's no little capsule around it. The, fingerprint lines or the skin lines go all the way through it. So that one is a callus. So I've got everything on my feet. You do. You're a great subject. <laughs> yeah, this is it. I haven't seen my feet in a how many years. Charles looks at it every time we get a shower. It's just plain old callus, right? Because again, you can see the fingerprint lines running all the way through. Yeah. And there's no little bleeding capillaries in there. And um, these are like a little cancer. They have their own um, blood supply. Yep. Yeah. It's a virus. Yep. And so it will keep replicating. And this one is also this was a wart. This one is now clear. This is just callus now. The fact that I'm taking Remicade probably makes it harder to clear these up. Yeah, because that lowers your immune system a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, and then down under here, this was all wart. Now this is just plain callus under here. Oh, it was a huge wart. Mm -hmm. It's just. So by keeping it trimmed like that, it keeps it from creeping in underneath the callus? No, it just is more comfortable for you. Oh yeah, it is. Trimming the calluses. Yeah. And then we'll put the acid back on the ward again today. Yes, yes, yes. You wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have that callus. Well, the callus, the, the wart forms the callus. Because you have the wart, that's why there is the callus. So. But I, so I had a callus before, but it wasn't. But maybe I've had this for longer than I. I would, um, yeah, I would think so. All right. So let's do our cold spray. you make the little holes first and then you put the acid on because you don't want to burn anything but where the warts are. Exactly. So I am trying to match the shape of this thing. Yeah, it's an unusual. I'm, I'm able to get in and out of the bathtub and I'm going to start taking bathtubs, baths. Okay. Is that going to spread this thing? No. Good. That's 
less than acid. Both were, the liquid and... So it's a, a thing that happens between them. It's just two different, yeah, it's two different acids. Just one liquid, one paste. back in another two weeks and do it again. Good. I'm glad. Thank you for letting me video.